Ryan. So it is now week two. I'm filming this on uh, Sunday, April 18th. I hope to have gotten the video earlier, but that's okay. Um, it was a good week. Um, I was back to work uh, this week, so um, I'm a, a teacher, so uh, right now we're working from home, so I didn't get to um, have as much recording time as I wanted. Uh, I usually get up pretty early to, uh, you know, do a little bit of uh, recording, a little bit of writing before work and then afterwards, um, but it's exhausting being online all day. Um, there were some days that I had like, I don't know, like three or four hours worth of lives with my students and uh, that doesn't sound like exhausting work, but it is. Uh, let's talk about how this week went. This week went great for uh, creating. Um, I really liked what I did uh, last week. It was a good start. And uh, this week, it kind of continued with it. Um, two things that I want to focus on this week for uh, the video is a couple things with my process. Number one is the sounds, my kind of search and exploration of sounds. And number two is uh, the process, because I didn't feel I talked a lot about the process. Um, so I love um, sound. <laughs> so whether that is like a beautiful uh, old piano or a great guitar, or like an interesting plugin uh, that you can use on your computer to record, or uh, cool effects for a guitar. Um, <laughs> I love all that that stuff, and uh, it's this exploration of sound that I really go after. And um, for me, when I write music, I uh, think very much of emotions and what emotions am I trying to evoke. And so uh, it's not only the words and the chords and the performance, but it's also to me sonically, like the sounds that I'm trying to get. So um, a lot of times in my process, I'm exploring sounds. So it might be on my uh, keyboard finding certain ones. And hey, it would be awesome if I had a beautiful, real uh, piano that I was able to record, but I don't. So I spend a lot of time kind of auditioning sounds. I do have a good digital piano, but oftentimes um, I'm using plugins uh, to, to get that sound. Uh, okay, well, it is April 15th, and I'm working on a song, again, that I've been working on for a long time. It's gone through many, many changes. Um, it's called Little Star, and kind of the uh, idea behind the song is it's like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in that it's very simple and melodic, but it's from the star's perspective looking at us on Earth. What does it think about us? What does it see? Does it ever feel uh, all alone? So I'm layering a bunch of sounds. So I'm just experimenting with some synthesized sounds, some cool things within the box, within um, my program. So I've got one thing that sounds like this. It's like a normal sort of pad. And then I'm working with another one that sounds like... Um, there's a company called Spitfire Audio, which I really like. Um, they come up with some really unique things. I'm looking for more, not a synthesizer, or with a, but very ethereal ones. So there's this new plugin they have called uh, Landfill Totems. And Landfill Totems refers to uh, this guy, um, let's see, Heinbeck, I think his name is. He um, went to landfills and found a lot of old radio equipment or old, um, you know, things that NASA would use, uh, sort of things that would like bloop, 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 sort of things. And uh, he stacked them together and he called them landfill totems. So it's like, you know, things from a landfill and they're stacked up. So you get some crazy sounds like. And that is in there, just really in the, the background. Something else I want to talk about was my process. And uh, I feel when I first started writing 
uh, songs, I had no process. Like I just kind of come up with some chords or come up with a melody and think, okay, that's cool or this sounds cool. Uh, but I didn't really think in terms of structure. I didn't think in terms of like rhyme. I didn't think in terms of like beat pattern. I didn't think uh, think in terms of storytelling. Uh, say for example, plot diagram or like the story mountain where you have like an exposition, rising action, climax, falling action. I didn't think in terms of that at all. I just wrote songs. And um, when I listen back to my earlier songs, I really like them, but I also hear that they're they could be improved, you know, with a little bit of structure. Uh, and then about mm, four or five years ago, I really got into um, some song structures, some like uh, Pat Patterson, for example, uh, and some other people that taught song structure, Jason Bloom, who I mentioned, I think, in last week's video. And those are great. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they do show that a lot of the hit, you know, top 40 songs have a certain structure and I appreciate that and I definitely incorporate that but also I think um, you know there's something magical about songwriting and sometimes you need to know the rules to break the rules I think that's a Miles Davis quote uh, and so now my approach is a little bit of both and so I'm really into creating a mood so I'll explore different sounds I'll you know try different sounds on my keyboard I'll try different sounds on my guitar uh, once I've had kind of an idea for a song and then I'll start to incorporate those. And that's really what's been working well for me now. Um, and uh, it's kind of a nice combination of both. So I think you do need structure. I think songs should, you know, be a certain way. You know, with verse, chorus, that sort of thing. It's important to understand, bless you, <laughs> how those things uh, work. But also at the same time, feel free to experiment. And uh, I feel like now I'm way more in touch with being intuitive and just kind of going with the feeling and if I find something that really interests me excites me I'll explore that I'll go with that and so um, I like it it's it you know I'm really happy with the songs that I'm working on right now uh, the stuff that I was working on this week was really an, ex an exploration of sound and so I thought that would be a cool thing to uh, talk about this week what I'm working on this week, I think, is just, again, uh, taking some of these ideas that I have, refining them, maybe crafting them a little bit, you know, fine-tuning them. And I think that's probably one of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give to people is, for me, the songwriting process is the editing process. Sure, sometimes it just flows through you and you just kind of get out of the way and you just write the song, and I think that's a great way to do it. Uh, but often for me, when I've written what I look back as my best songs, they've gone through a lot of edits, a lot of exploration, cutting unnecessary stuff. You know, do I need this extra, you know, verse here? Do I need this extra thing? What is this song about really refining it? And I feel that's where I get my best uh, results. So I encourage all of you uh, to do that, to edit your work, to sometimes just leave it on the shelf and then come back to it and uh, look at it and explore it and see what you like about it. And uh, what I always do is whether it's on my phone, like a voice memo or something, when I'm writing, I try and get it down right as I'm writing it. Uh, not with the intention that this is the finished product, but there's a certain way that I play it or a certain way that I sing it or a certain way that I emphasize certain words or sounds um, that I really want to capture when I go down the line in that process of really refining it. I think that's an important thing to do. So always record uh, your first ideas and reference them, go back to them. So, you know, I do have songs that it's taken me years to work on, but I will go back to like the initial like voice memo or the initial whatever, just so I can kind of, you know, reference that and make sure that that's still that, that feeling uh, that I fell in love with the song or that I fell in love with the sound is still there. So that's all for this week. I'm looking forward to uh, some more recording this week. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you'd like me to address, please put it in the comments for this video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.